How is that community going to help its members to meet their needs for law and order and to fulfill their potential for living according to ideals and values? First of all, the community has to have its own clear set of ideals and values. These values and ideals, they'll be drawn partly from Vaishnava truths and principles, partly from Vedic truths and principles, and partly from practical everyday necessity. We have to be practical. We can't just import wholesale Vaishnava principles from 300 years ago in India, or Vedic principles from 5,000 years ago in India, and expect that they'll be universally applicable right now. I saw a debate about biblical codes. How applicable are they today? Somebody wrote in. He said, I've got a problem. My neighbor's wearing cloth made of two different kinds of fibers. Should I stone him to death, or should I just smite him? So we have to be practical. The members of the community have to understand uh, the value of the ideals and values. They need to understand the uh, positive effects of living according to the ideals and values and the harmful effects of failing to live according to the, to the ideals and values. And they also have to be clear about their own personal values. If they're not clear about their personal values, they won't be able to follow the general values of the, of the community. Not only that the community has ideals and values, but it has to have a code of honor, a code of behavior that translates those ideals and values into practical behavior. So this code of honor is something that the members agree on. And then the, the community has a way of reinforcing the code of honor so that everybody knows what it is. It has a way of re uh, recognizing those who are acting according to the code of honor and of dealing with transgressions. So there'll be ongoing training and education and coaching to help members become really clear about their own values and to understand the values of the community within the framework of universal principles, religious principles, Vaishnava principles, and so on. The key here is the commitment that individual members make to their own personal values. 